I'd like to talk a little bit about nonverbal cues. Maybe that's a, uh, a good example of, <laughs> and ways in which I can um, help to. A nonverbal cue meaning an impulse? An impulse, uh, a sign, a feeling, a. Um, These are such good words you're offering. Most of what's coming is a nonverbal cue. But why does it f feel like there's nothing there oftentimes? Often because you're not good at translating the vibration yet. So, so, that's so you the, need somebody to yell it in your ear. That's kind of what I need. <laughs> that's kind of what I feel like. All right, so it's really just finding ways to... Esther's driving down the freeway. There's something going on up there. It has the potential of impacting Jerry and Esther in the big bus. And Esther gets an impulse to just get over, 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 over. Jerry says, where are you going? Esther says, over, 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 over. She takes the next exit. And Jerry says, what was that about? And Esther said, I don't know, it just felt like it. Now, Jerry happily went along with things like that because he'd had enough experiences. They had had enough experiences together. If Esther had needed the verbal cue, so she's driving down the freeway. Now she needs to really make sure she's in the receptive mode. <laughs> And now she's tuned into Abraham. Shh, don't talk, Jerry. I'm getting Abraham. Shh, shh, shh. We're tugging on her shoulder, tugging on her shoulder. Uh, there's something up there that you need to be aware of. And she's crashed into it before any of that's happened. But it's interesting because... We really yeah. want you to hear that. Because you think that someone fully explaining things is what you want at all times. That's not what you want at all times. You get so tired of that. If you were to walk around with Esther... And she would make you sit and talk with her about all the things that she's thinking about all day, every day, about what Abraham's teaching. After a while, you'd say, give it a rest. I was happier before I knew any of this stuff. <laughs> Just don't need to be talk, 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 talk. Get out there and live your life and let your impulses lead you toward all of the things that you are wanting. What about the impulses toward greater and greater love, greater and greater appreciation, love, appreciation, love, appreciation? Because all that feels like, okay, that's, uh, uh, it's great to get nonverbal cues to, to avoid, avoid misfortune or avoid an accident or avoid something like that. But how about just increasing love and joy and just having it be m m more and more and more and more and more and, in and increasing the momentum that's of... That's the point of everything, really. What you've just described is why you came. That's what I want. So what do you think is in your way? Well, it's probably just resistant thought, but I, it's got to be. I mean, so we have a really important question for you, and we'd like all of you to think about it, weigh in on it too. When we're having this dialogue, and we know we've set it up, questions, answers, more clarification, and so forth. But are you asking this question from a state of being satisfied? That's how it is, or from a place of not having it and feeling dissatisfied. So you're in a step one moment, and you're verbalizing your step one moment, in this case with words, but you're broadcasting it anyway. So it's been asked, and it's been answered. So now the question is, how do you get into the place where that's your experience? And we say, baby steps. You just have to tune yourself into the frequency of it. And most of all, pay attention to when it has happened. Notice when it's happening. Notice when you feel satisfied. Notice when some kind of really fun rendezvous happens. Esther went to the nail salon last week, early in the week, and two days later, her thumbnail just peeled right off for no good reason, except she was scraping something off the counter. But <laughs> So she knew that she needed to have it repaired before she went too much further. She couldn't stand it. And so... She met her daughter for lunch, and they were doing things, and then they picked children up from two different schools, and Esther said, oh, we're right by the nail salon. Do you mind if I just run in and take care of this? Nobody wanted to do that, and Esther is usually the last one to put anybody out about anything. But Esther said, oh, really, 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 it'll be really, really fast, and this just feels like the time to do it. Luke is saying, I really want to go home because there's a package waiting for me on the porch, and it's probably a Rubik's Cube, and I want to play with it. And Kate is saying, well, I've got homework. Nobody wants to give Grandma 10 minutes here because they've got the satisfaction in the selfish life really down good. Which is just the way Esther likes it to be. But in this case, Esther's impulse was so strong, it overrode her normal tendency, which was to just give everybody else whatever they want. And she said, we're right here. Suck it up. I'm going in. I'll be right back. And so she went in. 
the woman who had done her nail was free. She said, sit down. Yes, of course I will. She took Esther's thumb. They're having a little bit of fun. And she's saying, do you need anything else? No, just that, just that, just that, just do that, just do that. And do it fast. Do it as fast as you can. I've got restless people waiting for me. Do that, do that, do that. And so she's playing. And then after about five minutes, the woman sitting next to her couldn't take it anymore. She said, I know who you are. <laughs> And I can't believe this. I have been asking for a sign. <laughs> Nestor says, okay, law of attraction is real, okay? It, it, it's a real thing. It was so satisfying to Esther to realize what her feeling of, I'm going in here and I'm going in here now, was all about. It was about rendezvousing with someone. You see what we're getting at? Cooperative components. It's happening to you all the time. And so just pay attention when satisfying things happen. Acknowledge what the setup for it was. Acknowledge that for whatever reason you were in a place you had accomplished a satisfying vibrational atmosphere in which this new thing could be realized not revealed is there's all kinds of things that are being revealed to you that you're not picking up on you were in a state of realization